Hey, this is Dave, just doing a little informal video here about the FT Legacy Maiden Flight. And at the end of the flight when I landed, I had a little bit of a tumble. And I did crinkle the tail right here. So I've gone ahead and put some thin plywood and I'm actually going to mount the servos on the outside of that plywood. That'll be actually a help in case I want to change them later. So that, that'll be good. Uh, the other thing was that uh, it flew really good. I mean, I was amazed when it took off, but you'll see from the flight footage here in a second how well it did when it took off and how well it flew. The differential thrust, that was really interesting. I thought that would be a problem, but it actually helped to make those turns. And uh, it even did good considering it had this heavy FPV pod on here. And I had another camera right here, an HD cam. And it flew fine with that. In fact, I think it could have used even a little more nose weight. Um, I had a 2200 3 cell in it. And I think I could go a lot higher, maybe even a 4000 3 cell. Because it definitely was real floaty. Did a good job. Uh, I did add this little bar here, which is a, an LED bar that gives me the status, whether I've got GPS satellites and whether it's armed. That's kind of handy. Put it on the flight controller. Remember, we have an F411 flight controller from Maytech in here. And I tried the stabilization, too, during the flight, and it did work, so that's a good test. So, uh, well, you'll see what's going on. I'll go ahead and let you watch the video and see what you think. And then we'll get back to it. You guys just want to see it crash. No, Never. we don't. I don't have my camera out. <laughs> no yeah, camera. If I had my, camera my camera out, out. that would be a different story. But can you smile for the camera, Dave? <laughs> now this does have differential thrust. See? I'd turn it off. I can't. I haven't figured out how to turn it off with iNav. I really want to, but I haven't figured out how. It just don't work the rudder very hard. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have enough things blocking my eyesight. You don't have enough things blocking your eyesight right now. You make the feet crash. It could hurt your feelings. Okay, feelings aside, get the lady to stop FT the Legacy. Yeah. Take one. Take one. Maiden flight. Should I go ahead and energize this camera? Sure. Give it all she's got. Clean me up, Scotty. Might as well do it. All passenger seat belts fastened. Not blinking though. Try it again. There it goes. Alright. Alright. Alright, here goes nothing. Bon Let's just give it up elevator right away. Oh yeah. Oh that was no What was the excitement no. on that? Now, if I give it a little rudder, what happens? Whoa, yeah, did you see that come around with that differential thrust? Fly right into that thunderhead. Give me a weather update. Yeah, it's looking slow, slow. Now, have you turned on the flight control or anything, or is it just manual? It's just manual. How is the elevator? Uh, it's fine. Well, you know, when I let go, it does dip a little. Let's get it back over here. I can't see it. It's a lot heavier, I know that. I don't know about that. Let's try. Okay, there's stabilized mode. That's stabilized mode right there. It was a big yellow plane. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. mud duck. It's a mud duck. Aqua mode. I went back into acro mode because that stabilized mode wasn't giving me enough control. I was afraid I'd fly right into the hotel. And book a room. We haven't flown enough to make anybody upset, I don't think. Well, I think we've mowed the grass more than we've flown. Yeah, we haven't. This hasn't been a big flying summer for us. 
All right. The other times that you did it at night, you didn't. <laughs> oh. The other times that you did it at night, you didn't. <laughs> oh. Oh, broke the tail. <laughs> well, I knocked it loose. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it. Looks like it needs some reinforcement. Well, it doesn't look awful bad, but that was a pretty big bend there. What do you think? What was your visual on it? My visual was out. Yeah, I'd look at the tail because I, I heard something. Oh, it's being good. Yeah, you can see the crease in the side of there. Oh, come on. That's all it's got? I don't think you're good for another 100,000 place. Oh, yeah, there's the crease. Well, it's just cardboard, you know. So it looks like more popsicle sticks right here. I think this is what did it. You had this fiber here. Yeah, I saw it was balanced on the wingtip and it just rocked over. Yeah, it could use a little rubber coupling, it like when you made your turns. Yeah, I think you're right. It's just begging to go right back up again. Yeah, it really does fly good. It didn't have... Yeah, it just took off. Just slicker. I then like I won't it. say what. But and what's the name of this plane? FD Legacy. I like the landing gear on the front there. That looks pretty tail stout. Reminds me of a I put that on there. All, all they do is they give you a, bar, a barbecue skewer to put on it. There you go. <laughs> all right, now where's the hot melt? Need the hot glue gun there. Oh, come on now. Come on. <laughs> You're not going to provide full service. What? What's that? No hot milk. Just have shit service right there. <laughs> okay, we're back. And if you notice, the OSD screen was kind of, uh, well, the top and bottom were chopped off. You might not know it, but I had uh, voltage and amperage that was supposed to be at the bottom, and that was cut off. And the top was a little cut off. And uh, after doing some investigation, I found out that I had to change a setting in the OSD, which is on the flight controller on the F-411, apparently, even though it was on auto detect for the camera, it was running in PAL instead of NTSC. So I went ahead and switched it to NTSC, but then I had to move some of the items up because NTSC wasn't quite as tall as PAL in the video on the OSD. So I did change that. And uh, also this battery, the wires kind of got in the way of the propeller, so I'm going to have to figure out something different for my video battery. Uh, maybe mount it underneath or something like that. But other than that, I was really happy with the flight. At first I was scared that it wouldn't take off, but it took off nice and straight and level. It was was very easy to control. And... Uh, Differential thrust worked good. When I made a turn with that, it just swung right around. I was afraid it would go into a spin and a dive like I've seen some other differential thrust planes do. But it didn't do that. It came right around using the motors. Uh, really couldn't complain other than just need that OSD adjustment. And because of the bad landing that you saw, I did have to repair the tail a little bit with some thin uh, hobby grade plywood. And I think I put a piece on the bottom. Yeah, I put a piece on the bottom too here, so it's very strong now. And, uh, okay, so the tail wheel here worked well too. There's a, this 3D printed tail wheel that I put on. Uh, that worked good. I think all the mods I did worked well, including all the connections to the FPV pod. And, uh, like I said, I think I can go get a bigger battery in here because it definitely needs all the nose weight it can get. So, no problems. Well, leave any comments you want under the video and just uh, let me know what you think. But I think the FT Legacy is really a great plane for FPV with the props out of the way. and you got all that room. And, and I, I'm looking forward to a lot more flights with it because I didn't get to be up in the air very long. I just did a quick test and then came back down. 
Okay. We'll see you next time.